Hola amigos, as they say in Mexico, I'm here with my gringo friend uh, Peter, from not what? from Mexico, no. um, and we're speaking in uh, Spanish uh, and celebrating the wonders of Mexico and the wonderful musicians that come out of there because this snake skin covered monster beauty little amplifier from Boogie, aptly named the King Snake, is the uh, brand new Carlos Santana signature Hamptifier. Um, so, Peter here is uh, from our friends at uh, Boogie. Yep. To tell us a bit more about this Limited amplifier. edition. Uh, basically, uh, um, Carlos and Randall went together and they've come up with this Mark I limited edition lovely amplifier. I really like this little thing. So th uh, this is a throwback to the original? It is, it is a throwback to the original with a couple of new features like the monitor watts and um, a little switch in the back here which you can see in a minute. Um, and a new speaker as well that we looked at when we, we did. did the Rectrover 25. We did. Um, the uh, Fillmore 75. Yes, now Fillmore. this is the Fillmore 100 watt in here in the back of this one, uh, which of course is a bigger and a little bit more heavy. Yeah, well, um, it remi I mean, this was, gone. I think the <laughs> very first Mesa Boogie that I ever picked up would have been a Mark three, three. might have been a Mark three or something like that. And you, you come up and you, you physically prepare yourself to go, oh, just lift this up yeah. and you bet you move. And what happens is your arm comes out of its shoulder socket <laughs> uh, and the rest of your body walks away. It's um, not, this is not too bad. Actually. It's pretty it's, heavy. It's heavy, it? but it's yeah. not too bad, you know, and it, and for the size, as, oh. you know, it's not that actually that big again, again, Th this was, I think that was again, my very first impression of a boogie was how does something that Th big yeah. make so much It's 100 noise. watts, but he, uh, in Miller Valley, he started his little his little shop, Randall Smith, by sort of modifying, um, well, he actually had a Mercedes engine uh, repair shop in the oh, back. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hence, a mess that he needed a name to buy his parts and stuff, and, and that was the name that they came up with for that. But he, in, in America, at that time, 69, when they started, you couldn't really get any Marshalls or any loud yeah. amps. It was Fender yeah. amps, and yeah. uh, most of them was Princeton amps, and they, yeah. they, they weren't really loud. So they took it up to Randall, and a friend of his said, you know, can you make this louder, because nobody can hear me, blah, yeah. all this stuff. And he modified them and hot-rodded them, as yeah. it were. So essentially, the first boutique amplifier yeah. was created at his shop in, yeah. in uh, at that time. And uh, the story goes, Carla Santana, you know, it, everybody's, all the big stars, Jimi Hendrix, they're all faffing about in, in, in San Francisco in that area at that time, you know. And Carla Santana walks in one day and he's heard about this amp and he plucks it in and he says, man, this thing really boogies. And that was essentially how they, they got to the name Boogie, you know. Because yeah. we, we know that they keep the Boogie for, for the Mark series. Yes. Uh, for the Mark One, Two, Three, Four, and now Five, and and they've also because this is a, a limited edition, there's 600. This is number 540, yeah. uh, 74, I think it was inside. It's yeah. all they're all signed by Randall, and you know they they it's signed. Mine, yeah, uh, this is actually sheepskin. Is it really? Yeah, yeah I think it's, she it's sheepskin made to look like. So snake. if you were feeling guilty about the amount of snakes that would have had to have been killed yeah. to make this, don't worry, but do feel guilty about the amount of sheep that exactly. were to make but this. Exactly, but somebody probably had a nice dinner yes. after that. Um, yes. some, anyway, guy had, some guy had shoes made because he loved it so much, he's had uh, matching shoes oh, it's made. very so, Carlos. Yeah. So tell me about, the. we, we were going through here, we, we've got a, a fairly familiar kind of set of yeah. controls here, a couple of volumes. It's for, first, it's four six and sixes in there. Wow. And yeah. 12, 12, 8, 7, uh, 5, 12, 12, 8, 7, not 12. Yeah. Um, so it's a quite, you know. It, and what do you, you, so you've got a cascading yeah. kind of gain yeah. stage. If so you, so when you plug into one, it'll go through one into two and you can sort of cascade those two into each other and then two go straight into volume two. And then you've got uh, master treble, mid boost. When you crank that up over five, it, it, it boosts and gains. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's the sort of Carla sound with all that sort of saturation yeah. and, and long. Yeah sustain you know and then you've got the bass uh, and then you've got 10 60 and 100 watts yeah uh, on it on the front there as well so you can play in your bedroom but this 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 is so loud this thing. yes incredibly loud hey so here's the back of the amplifier 
Um, you can see this uh, grill thingy here, which uh, stops um, all of us European people uh, from killing themselves by sticking their hands where they shouldn't would. go. Because of course we yeah, would. Yeah, exactly. um, you don't have this in America because you have common sense laws in America. <laughs> uh, we're not allowed to have common sense That's over here. So Let's our governments have insisted we uh, prevent ourselves from doing anything like that. Yeah. So look at this enormous transformer about the size of a house brick. Um, <laughs> You can see all the tubes in here, the four 6L6s and the preamp yeah, tubes are just behind. In front, yeah. The um, Fillmore, Fillmore Kraken custom speaker here. Um, so, HT Fuse, uh, foot switch to uh, defeat the reverb if you want to. I don't think the foot switch comes with it, does it? I'm guessing it's just a latching foot switch that you can... Mm. Any old latching foot yeah. switch, I, I, I don't know. Um, Reverb control on the back, send level, so I got that bit wrong when I was talking about this earlier on, there's no return level, just a send level, send and return, slave output, which is not emulated, is it? So you would need to take the slave output into some other sort of speaker emulation device mm. uh, before you could record with that, but if you've got a speaker emulation device on your like the DAW or whatever. Or the Capcom. Uh, yeah, um, well the Capcom would just yeah, come out come of speaker, that speaker, speaker yeah. But, yeah, would, yeah. Um, but there's probably plugins yeah. that do speaker emulation yeah. stuff, isn't there? Uh, the two note torpedo and all that kind of stuff. That anyway, kind of stuff, yeah. slave level, presence, which I thought was the sort of didn't do an awful lot on the clean sound, but was quite interesting, you know, the way it worked on the... Mm. Sorry, the, I should take that back. The, the presence control does plenty, whether you're on the clean or the dirty sound. It was the difference between whether you had it set to blackface mode or tweed mode didn't seem to make a lot of difference until you're on the driven sort of tones. And then you've got an internal speaker, which is an 8-ohm speaker. And then if you want to run this through uh, other speaker cabs, you've got a couple of other 4-ohm outputs here if you want to. Okay, one other... Thing, and this is this actually applies to all boogie amplifiers and as far as I'm aware boogie are about the only guys that do this in Europe our mains voltage runs anything from 220 to 240 in fact experts in this field will probably tell me that in some places if you're a bit closer or further from the grid or whatever you may even find it does sort of 210 up to sort of or 210 up to 250 in the UK, we're supposed to have a 240 main supply, and in Europe, they're supposed to either have a 220 or a 230 main supply. Most amp manufacturers will put the same transformer in any amp that's being sold in the, into Europe and just give it like a user transformer that has a sort of a 10 or 20% tolerance. So it, it, it will work down to 210 and it will work up to sort of 250. But of course, if you know anything about transformers and valve amplifiers and things like that, the transformers are one of the most essential components in here for you know tone and volume and headroom and all that kind of stuff. So one of the things that Boogie do, uh, which is very cool for the UK only, is specifically supply a 240 volt optimized transformer. So if you buy this in Germany or France or anywhere else in mainland Europe, you will find that your transformer is very slightly different to the transformer that you get in the UK. And likewise, if you're in the UK, make sure you buy a boogie from a UK stockist um, rather than a European one because otherwise your amplifier won't be optimized for our it's details voltage. man it's details it's details, it's details. That's, that's, that's the boogie boogie. details so the first sounds that Peter's going to get for us on this wonderful old gold top Les Paul um, is plugged into input two, so we're just using volume two. So that so I guess a couple of the tubes in the preamp circuit will be sort of removed, if you like. So uh, this this will be class tone. A, class A B, uh, and class A B here as well. So we are on A B, sixty on watts A B, so yeah. a bit more headroom. Yeah. So and I'll I'll play around with the sort of the tone controls, and the reverbs and stuff, and you can kind of get some ideas yeah. of. And I'm just on the keep I'll it clean. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Sweet. I, know, I have to say, <laughs> I know it's like I feel bad saying this. I kind of didn't really want to like this because it's covered in <laughs> snake skin and looks a bit. This is what of, everybody's like. And I'm like, I'm like, you? oh, such a great sounding amp. It sounds amazing. And it's so really typically it. boogie as well. Again, it's yeah. like you know, going from three to four on a bass control. It's there's the much, old sort of. There's as much control between three and four in the amplifier as there on a Marshall between naught and ten, isn't it? <laughs> it's like yeah. it, it's just. Oh, it's fabulous. It, it does. It just has such a, a presence mm. in the well, in that? the room. You Let know. me just switch whilst you're playing as well. Let me switch that presence control on the back and try to dial. It Obviously here, as I'm dialing the, you know, the, the, the knob on the back that does the amount of presence, that's yeah. obvious to hear. But the, the the way in which it's responding, whether it's on black face or tweed, I can't really yeah. hear. It. Maybe it's because it's, it's a, a drive thing. Yeah, when you drive it up like the mm. boost here, when, mm. once that goes over five, as I said, that, so, that, that will, you know. So what we're going to do now is kind of move more into the realms of the driven Carlos Santana sound. So we're going to yeah. drop it down to 10 watts just because it's um, <laughs> much easier to get that kind of a driven tone and, and yeah. we won't kill anybody in this room. Uh, and we're going to plug back into number one. Yeah. So what you're hearing now is a cascaded gain sound of the, the preamp tubes for volume one and the preamp tubes for volume two going into... It just the uses two, two uh, 6L6s when it's right. on 10. Right, well. and it's class A now as yeah. well. So it's again Again, probably a slightly different kind of tone. But he uh, can't be played more... so loud, you know, you'll yeah. probably just go, you know. You might find, again, Class A might be a bit more saggy. You just have to sort of, yeah. you just got to try and fiddle But this is, the, this is the thing, when there is a video where, where Randall and Carlos are sitting talking about it. Yeah. And he, he's been, he tried to find this sound. Uh, and he, he's just, it's the only time he found it is when mm. Randall created the game. Uh, you know, mm. and he just can't. So we're I'm going to keep reminding Peter as well to to fiddle around with the tone controls. Yeah, we need to roll off. We need to roll off <laughs> uh, to get the ultimate Santana. <laughs> you see, now it's breaking up already. Please, volume down, yeah. uh, sorry, tone down. Tone down. Uh I'm just going to lose a bit of volume a bit. I'm yeah. going to go back to the 60 watt mode because I kind of want. 
I sometimes find with gain tones, you get a bit more clarity and less compression, and it might be a bit more, let's see. Let's see. Now and it's only on 60 watts, you still got to have another oh, 40 man. watts to play with. That's yeah. cool. That sustain without it feeding back that yeah. he that he likes that he's yeah. looking for. Yeah. Uh, maybe look It's in the guitar, it's in the fingers, you know, but he's I can't play like him because he plays like he does. Mm. Nobody can play like some like play like him. But again, it's not just—it's not just a Santana sound. You can, you can get out of this amp. You know, people, of course, associate it with him because it is his signature. But you can use it for loads of other things. It's got a great blues tone with a strat as well, or telly. I try. want it to go into feedback but is yeah. there is, is it designed in such a way that it kind of see I'm not quite sure but that's what it does doesn't it it just sustains and it doesn't really go into a feedback I'm sure yeah. you can get a feedback out of it maybe it's just a volume but it's uh, it, yeah maybe it's, it's, it's just it's, Monster. I mean, we can try it with a Strat. I've never really seen Carlos play a Strat. No, I don't think so, but it's just because it's Should not people, just... people again, it's not just, you know, it's well, even though it, people think, yeah, give let's it a do try. it. You go for it. Yeah, you go. You no, you're the, no, no, you're the player. You're, you're the, the player. You're the player. You're the player. You're, you're, the, player. Player. you're, you're <laughs> the one that's played with Nicole Sch <laughs> Scherzinger. And... It's that um, <laughs> 1980s kind of Eric, maybe even a bit earlier than that, yeah, but that Clapton kind of sound yeah. with, where he had that mid boost circuit dialed into his amplifier yeah. and we, yeah. uh, into well, his guitar, and it's almost what we've kind of done. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty loud, but it's it's just it's just what you would gig in a small club at, isn't it? I yeah. Mean, it's not. You probably. Not yeah. like, oh my goodness. What I are can't. we on here? We on master three? Yeah. So because it's got a master as well, we'd actually. We'd, it's it's great to have a master because like if you've got an old master and it doesn't yeah. have a yeah. a master yeah. on it, you have to run it really loud to get anything. Uh, yeah. It, Tons of bass end. Even though we haven't yeah. got it on the floor, there's still tons of bass yeah. end. No, it's a it's um, a incredible thing for for, and it's limited. So once they're yeah. gone. I mean, it's kind of almost, you know. it's, it's, it's like, um, 
I don't know. I mean, I'd love to think that people would buy these and then gig with them and not worry too much about, oh, I might scratch the snake skin or whatever like that. Yeah, the, it's a cracking little amp stuff. to kind of yeah. gig with. Or, or would I suspect it's a cracking little amp to gig it with? It projects so well mm. through any, you know, any, any live band, drums. Sound you know. great. It didn't, it didn't really <laughs> cut over the bongos, I think. That was the, the bongos. Uh, the bongos. Uh, they yeah. took the prize. No, I don't, I don't know, actually. It, it, it's... Um, uh, I am touring actually yeah, with I, yeah Nicole yeah. phoned me the other day. Oh, really? She said uh, she said yeah can you do uh, we're well, you thinking do... about doing a thing not uh, just a pure bongo vocal thing. I think that would be great. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, I think that's going to be awesome. Anyway, right, anyway, that's good. So uh, well done, Randall and yeah, Carlos for great. making an awesome uh, amplifier. Effects loops in the back as well. Oh All yeah, we didn't. Go and, we'll show you pictures yeah, you if we haven't already. Um, and. Yeah, and I'll put all this. I'll put a link on the uh, in the description below. So if you just want to read spec and find that you know what woods it made from and everything like that, you'll be able to do that in the bottom. But these videos really are just about hearing it and having a bit of fun, aren't they? But also, if you look look great. look next to an original and old one, they look the same. You know, they've done the whole thing—the white and the black—and it's really cool. It's just great. Yeah, I must it? say, I really want. So, to uh, <laughs> what, how much are these? Heaps, aren't they? Twenty-eight hundred. Yeah. Whoa! Although I say, whoa. Well, Get this, this is a true story for you. These were actually announced in January, weren't they? And um, uh, one of the other guys that works for Westside and does all the import ordering, uh, he said, I don't know, I'm not sure whether to buy five of these for the UK or 50 of these for the UK, because you just don't know, are these gonna? Yeah, are they gonna? Um, and I said, not? yeah, do you know, I'm kind of with you. I said, I tell you what, put me down for three. And I, and I, and I all the way coming home from the NAMS, I was thinking, <laughs> I've ordered way too many of those. They're gonna be here in like, you know, a year's time. Anyway, as fast as we put the things on the internet, the first three all pre-sold even before they turned up. So I had to wait for the second lot to arrive before I could even do the video uh, with Peter. Yeah. So. And we ordered another three, and I actually think this is the last one we've got anyway. Uh, it, so by the time this video comes out, they may have all sold, and yeah. you can just sit back and go, well, it doesn't matter how expensive they are, because I couldn't have one even if I wanted one. <laughs> um, I don't think it's that much money for, for what it is. You know, they see a lot of, 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 of handmade uh, boutique amps that will cost the same, and this, it, it does yeah. something that none, well, you know, you, I suspect the sheep involved making this would argue that actually it's not expensive enough. But uh, <laughs> yeah. anyway, that's another story. And I've, I've got a jumper at home from the from the <laughs> wool from it as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thanks to Pete for coming thank in. Thank you for having And um, we'll see you next time. Yeah. So pleased I've got this grill here because all I want to do <laughs> is touch <laughs> red hot valves. It's um, can't help it. It's like no, jumping. Absolutely. You want to jump out of something. Where's, really that, hard. where's that main socket? I'm just going to stick my tongue in that, you know, to see what happens. <laughs> anyway, that's it.